Hello, welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. This is Kazoro, and it turns out that Kira wants to talk to this guy right here, Enak, in the Alien Outreach Center on Nar Shadda. You're here! And bearing gifts. How's everyone holding up? Better now. Can't believe it's really you. A Jedi. You're so different. Kira's more than a Jedi. She's a hero. You must be Kira's master. It's an honor. I still remember that little girl. Bundling up in extra layers of clothing. Trying to look bigger and tougher than she was. Hey, it worked. Add enough layers and nobody knows who you are. You were protecting yourself. From what? Refugees become victims real easy, but not me. Enoch, distribute the food and medicine. Our people have waited long enough. Go now. This famine, your fault. Our people suffer because of the slaughter you committed in our name. The Orcasacs. Who is this man? What's he talking about? Name's Darshin. Been the leader here forever. We have differences. Urkasags were bad news. Made us their personal entertainment. Robbed, killed, and worse. For fun. I paid the gang a private visit. Asked them nicely to back off. Things got ugly. Gangsters died. You butchered the Urkasags. Made a public spectacle of their deaths and spread terror in our name. Everyone fears us. Sounds like Kira took care of your gang problem. Lasted right, I did. Gangs know not to mess with my friends. Our reputation frightens away those who could help us. Yet desperate people continue to seek refuge here. We can't provide for everyone. I'll get more supplies to you. I protect my people. No. Enoch was wrong to bring you back here. Your presence does more harm than good. Beggars can't be choosers. Should your people suffer because you're angry with Kira? What she did was wrong, but it doesn't mean you should turn away her help. I'll make it up to you, Darshan. Promise. Your promises mean nothing to me. Everyone so excited you're here, Kira. They want to say thanks. Can you stay a while? Not this time, but I'll be back. Take care of each other until then. Looks like that's it for now. Let's head back up to our ship. So we can continue on our way to Quesh. Um, now this one you're supposed to do while you're doing the Nar Shaddaa bonus series. But, again, bonus series is where done away with in 4.0. It's actually about two-thirds of the way through the bonus series when you get to that alien outreach center. Okay, I'm supposed to travel to Quesh. Um, keep you, keep you. Yeah, I'll keep that in case I want to wear it. And then those are all just extras. To sell. Alright, Quesh is on the left, I believe. Where is it? There it is, right in the middle. Alright, now Quesh is one of the quickest planets ever. A lot of the other planets span about four levels. Um, you're supposed to go to several different areas and you're supposed to level up about four levels as you're going through those planets. Quesh spans like two. You're supposed to level up one time. You start in one level, I think it's 36. You end up on level 37 and then you move to the next planet. So. Some classes really only, you, you land on the planet, you go out to the one spot on Quesh, you talk or fight or whatever, and then you head back to your starship and get out of there, if you're just doing the class quest. Of course I'm going to be, uh, wait a second, get Doc back out, because Doc needs more conversation points and kills. 
Um, yeah. I'm going to be running all the quests just because I'm showing it off on this character, which means I may end up way above level 50 very soon. Um, let's get some of these guys. I'm trying to get all the way up to grade 4 stuff. That, I need that to craft the next level of things. And here's the planet set of missions right here. Welcome to Quesh. Haven't seen that many Jedi in this sector. You here for the war effort? Wasta me. I certainly hope you're not here for the sights. Although the poisonous gas makes for pretty sunsets, I suppose. Speaking of which, you'll need this to survive in Quesh's atmosphere. When it starts to wear off, see a medic for another shot. How will I know when it's wearing off? Symptoms include dizziness, headache, nausea, mania, burning extremities, hallucinations, dry mouth, and death. Although deadly in its natural state, Quesh Venom, the chemical in the air, can be used to make a powerful adrenal. The Empire found out about our mining operations here and filled the planet with troops and battle droids. I imagine that waging war on a planet with toxic air doesn't work out well. The air's not as bad as the terrain. Quesh is all swamp. Hard on machinery, harder on soldiers. Well, you're clear to travel the planet's surface. Just say the word. I'm ready to have a look at this poison planet. Speak to General Corvan when you land. He'll brief you on the current situation. Good luck. Alrighty. Let's head down to the planet and find General Corvan. So you can figure out how to further the Republic's interests here on Quesh. Alright, yeah. We're here in the base, so look, we got some mail. Dr. Kasiri. Oh, thanks for the data crystals. Which, by the way, how am I doing on those? Oh, pushed K instead. Currency. I have 602 of those, so that's a fair amount. All right, we already have our first bonus quest here. Let's see what's up. A Jedi, excellent. I'm senior field agent Surya with the, at the SIS. An operation I'm overseeing has run into complications. Fortunately, requesting assistance from you falls within mission protocols. How exactly can I help with this? My current assignment is focused on Dr. Orlean, a key Imperial scientist from the Quesh Venom Processing Lab. He wants to defect. Without him, their adrenal production operations will be crippled. Getting him to come over to the Republic is a huge win. I'm not convinced that this plan will succeed. There's a reason we're taking this slow. We have an undercover agent inside the Imperial facility. He's handling all the details of the op, but he missed his last two check-ins. This is a delicate operation. I need to make contact to find out what's happening. I'll speak with him as soon as possible. What? No, you'll blow his cover. We need to be discreet. I want you to knock out the Imperial Facility's security stations, then go to this designated rendezvous point. If Agent Meldo hasn't been compromised, he'll follow mission protocols and meet you there. Get his report and bring it back to me. Okay, so the guy's undercover. We can't just waltz up and talk to him. Fun, fun. This is also the only story planet without any uh, heroic missions on it. Just FYI, even if you're doing it all, doing everything, you won't find any heroic missions here, so... Yeah. Mr. Jedi, members of your order are always welcome. Please, join us. I'm General Corvan, at your service. This is Major Tree, my right hand. General, don't change the subject. If we don't strike now, the Empire will drive us completely off the planet. You know we cannot be drawn into attacking the enemy, Major. The mines and factories would be left undefended. It's a risk we must take. Surely you agree with me. We can't let the Empire simply advance to our doorstep. Something like that can only end in disaster. I will not leave our civilian workers undefended in order to press an attack. And that is final, Major. General, I'm getting a distress call from the worker camps. Putting it through now, sir. 
anyone there? General Corbin, you have to help us. Imperial sappers have blown open the venom pipelines. There's venom flooding everywhere, poisoning my men. We can't get past the Imperials to seal the pipes. Do what you can to get your people out. Help us on the way. Corvan out. Why don't you let me deal with this? Thank you. I confess I was hoping to enlist your aid. I'd like you to hold your forces at the mines in case this is simply a tactic to draw us out. If you're willing to help us, please, go to the camp, drive back the Imperials, and seal the pipeline. I'll get there as soon as possible. Take these healing adrenals. They'll counteract the venom. Speak to the foreman once the site is secure. And good luck. Okay, um, speak to the minor foreman. He's up that way? Yeah, up there. Sorry, I didn't realize I had my headphones off still. Um, there was this message that was right here that I was trying to get rid of. That's what happened a while ago, but I guess it's gone now. Um, oh yeah, these are the good guys. You're attacking bad guys. That's fine. Hey, look, another mission to pick up. Sweetness. Alright, Galia, what's up? 
You're a Jedi, right? Gotta be. Nobody else on this toxic rock dresses like that. The soldiers assigned to Quesh are the best Republic has to offer, but it's nice to know your order is backing us up, too. Name's Galia, foreman of this crew. Listen, we could use a little help. General Corvin came up, came up with a great plan to catch the imps off guard. You wouldn't be asking for my help if there wasn't a problem. Here, a sharp one, I'll give you that. There's an imp base near the mines. We can drill up into it from below, so Corvin can launch a surprise attack. But we hit a little snag. The blasted drill broke down, and there's only one place on Quest to get the replacement parts we need. Quit dancing around the issue and tell me what you want. Somebody needs to salvage the parts from a drill inside the imp's mining operations. I doubt they'll hand it over just because we ask nicely. Probably going to mean cracking some skulls. I'm a Jedi. This is what we're here for. Glad you're on board. Go to the Imperial Mining Camp and grab the parts we need from their drill. Then bring them back here to me. Good luck. I'll be waiting. Alright. And the miner formula I'm supposed to contact. The uh, undercover guy. My men owe you their lives. We won't forget this. Thanks to you, we can get our operation running again. My pleasure. We've got production quotas to meet, and the Empire's not making that any easier. Hang on, a call's coming in from General Corvan. I was hoping I'd reach you. Is the pipeline secure? Things seem to be under control here for the moment, General. Excellent work, Master Jedi. The Republic is in your debt. The Empire is responding to the defeat here by making a frontal assault on our mining operation. In so doing, they're using forces from their base defenses. This gives us an attack opportunity. You have the manpower to defend the mines from a full-on assault? Major Tree's men are being pushed to their limits. But they are holding on, for now. With all respect, General, you can't leave Trig's men alone at the mine. My people will be massacred. We may never get another chance like this. It's dangerous, but we must strike the Empire while we can. Going after the Imperial base may cost our miners their lives, but gain us a strategic victory. We can't sacrifice our mine for a chance at vengeance. Thank you. Those men have served the Republic well. They deserve protection. Once you're finished, report to the Three Families War Camp. It's time you meet our allies. Corban out. I promise nothing less than perfection, Master. Yeah, yes, it does. Love the result.
So, not my best work.
Even the most advanced droids cannot make a shimmer silk purse from a banter's ear, Master. I promise to do better next time. <laughs> No area looting on, so I have to pick them both up. Let's do this. Alright, spread that. And turn off the drill. Or get the parts from the drill. Alrighty, let's see what's going on. Oh, it doesn't increase my regular speed. It's increasing my battle speed. Okay, so what's this mission up here? Sabotage security stations? Oh, I think that one is. Oh gosh, I already missed it. Uh, this entrance up here was supposed to go inside the base up there. I actually go take out some security stations. So let's go do that real quick and then we'll call it an episode, even if it's drawn it's just a little bit long. Because then we can end at the end of this mission. Or at least at the end of this step of the mission. There's no bonus in here. Man, I remember there being a bonus in here too. They really mucked around with all these missions. I don't like it at all. He probably heals droids, actually. Let's look over those droid mechanics. Alright, now we're getting close. Should be security stations up here to sabotage. I believe that guy is melee. But we can do this. security stations. Oh, they're around. Yeah, because these Devastator droids were part of the bonus. They were like the stage 2 or the stage 3 or something. I remember it. Pretty, oh, oh, I also remember the rest of this mission. Each one of these is actually going to spawn a couple of guys to fight, so that Devastator droid may be pulled into the, uh... Shoot. Oh good, we did it without getting his attention. Yeah, so each one of those has a couple of droids to fight after you click on the station. Droid mechanic. I don't want you fixing that droid up. Not until I kill you first. Okay. Security station number two. Alrighty, where are some more security stations? Gosh, I don't see any. Where are they? Well, there's a couple up there. It looks like I want to go up another level. 
Let's go up over here. Oh, there's one right there we can get. I'll have to take out these guys first. Ugh, don't see me. There's three. Alright, there's four right up there to the right. Let's see if I can sneak around this security droid. supposed to rendezvous but we're out of time this time so thanks for watching oh, and this episode during a battle thanks for watching uh, next time I'll rendezvous with Agent Meldo and I'll see you then thanks for watching oh, I said thanks for watching three times now sorry okay yep bye